Excel provides us with several different ways of duplicating or making a copy of an existing worksheet. Specifically, we can use the Move or Copy dialog box, or we can use the Control Drag method. Let's see examples of both of these techniques. Here's a simple worksheet that will allow us to record the average number of viewers per episode for three animated television programs for the year 2011. Let's imagine that we want to create new worksheets where we can enter similar data for the years 2012 and 2013, and that we want to copy all of the formatting and structure of the current worksheet so that the new worksheets will look exactly the same. To do this, we simply need to make a copy or a duplicate of the current worksheet. One way of making a copy of the worksheet is by clicking on the Format drop-down box on the Home ribbon and then selecting the Move or Copy Sheet option. After doing this, the Move or Copy dialog box will appear. At the bottom of this dialog box is a checkbox labeled Create a Copy. By selecting this option and then clicking on the OK button, Excel will create an exact copy of the current worksheet. Note that we can also cause the Move or Copy dialog box to appear by right-clicking on the name of the sheet that we wish to duplicate and then selecting the Move or Copy option. Rather than using the previous approach, a much faster but more advanced way of making a copy of an existing worksheet is by using the Control Drag method. To use this method, we simply need to hold down the Control key click on the name of the worksheet that we wish to duplicate, and while holding down the left mouse button, drag the mouse cursor to the location where we want the new worksheet tab to appear. This is certainly the fastest way to create a copy of a worksheet, but getting the method to work properly can take a bit of practice.